coming to you from the Strack and Van Til Studios. This is your 219 News Now. Strack and Van Til, making customers' lives easier for 93 years. Hi, I'm Sonny Santana, and this is your 219 News Now. Congressman Frank Mervan yesterday proclaimed it is a great day in Crown Point, Indiana, as he, Mayor Pete Land, and several firefighters came out to celebrate a $2.7 million grant. The money, which comes from FEMA, goes toward hiring seven new firefighters in a city that has grown from 28,000 to more than 34,000 residents in the past few years. Mayor Land said that they've done the math and these should be permanent positions. A former Old National Bank employee who stole money from customer accounts is going to prison. Federal Judge John DiGiulio sentenced 28-year-old James Gaffney of Merrillville to 21 months for stealing more than a quarter million dollars from accounts of deceased customers. Shipping on the Great Lakes is down to 5.5% so far this year, although a strong September is bringing that number up. According to the Great Lakes Seaway Partnership, the number of countries that the U.S. traded with via the St. Lawrence Seaway is also down from 23 countries in August to 15 in September. High school volleyball regionals are this Saturday. Perennial state contender Andrean beat Ileana Christian last weekend to move on. Here's a clip from Andrew Garcia. The junior still getting it done for the Niners, finding the middle of the floor for the point. Back and forth we go in the second set. Niners still trying to pull away after that. Audrey Nohos tips one in. Andran wins 3-0. Make that seven straight sectional crowns. The Niners move on to regionals where they will meet Churubusco next Saturday at Rochester. I'm Sonny Santana, and this was your 219 News Now.